create an antenna element using a Floquet port inside of ANSYS HFSS. And we'll use a probe-fed rectangular patch antenna as the model for the flow cape port analysis. And we'll use the antenna toolkit to synthesize and create the 3D model geometry necessary to meet your design requirements. And the flow cape port in HFSS is used exclusively with planar periodic structures. And to bring this periodicity into the model geometry, a coupled lattice pair boundary must be assigned. This enables you to model planes of periodicity where the E field at every point on the secondary boundary surface is forced to match the E field of every corresponding point on the primary boundary surface to within a phase difference. And let's use this microstrip patch antenna model as shown. This HFSS model is a driven modal solution with an air box around it. Select the two faces along the x-axis of the radiating surface, right mouse click and go to assign boundary. Select couple and then select lattice pairs and the dialog box appears and you can define a name of the lattice pair and we'll keep it the default, the lattice pair one. Select next. A new window appears, which gives us the option to calculate or input the phase delay for the array. Let's use a scan angle to calculate the phase delay, and we'll use a variable so we can parameterize the results. Use the variable phi scan for the phi direction and the theta scan for the theta direction, and select finish. A new dialog box appears to define the new variables phi scan and theta scan. Let's keep it the default of zero degrees for now. Select OK to close the dialog boxes. And similarly, this defines the coupled boundary conditions for the two faces along the Y axis. And define the name as lattice pair two and use the variable phi scan and theta scan to define the phase delay. And you'll see the defined lattice pair one under the boundaries folder in the project manager pane. You should see lattice pair two in the boundaries folder as well. And for an infinite array realization, we need to assign flow K ports to the face of the radiating surface along the Z axis. Select that top face of that unit cell, right mouse click and select assign excitations and then select flow K port. And in that pop-up box, specify the A and B directions for the lattice A and B coordinate system as required. And these directions define the periodicity of that planar lattice. Also, the vector arrows must start and end at the points on the face of the flow K port and must have a common initial point. Click next to close, a new dialog box appears, the mode calculator tab. And that allows you to set up the number of modes along with a mode calculator option. The mode calculator will generate a table, the mode type and the attenuation. And this allows you to decide how many modes and which modes you need to take into account. And for now, I'll just keep the default values to calculate two modes. Select next to complete the dialog box. And this next dialog box defines the post-processing tab, the D embed distance, if it's needed. And that can be de defined, but we will not use the D embed option. Select next to move on. And this panel contains the effects refinement checkbox which allows you to specify the flow K modes in the 3D adaptive refinement process. You can uncheck it for now. Select finish. And in the project manager window, under excitation folder, you can now see the flow K port definition. Set up the analysis solution and the sweep and go ahead and analyze. Select the simulation bar in the, in the ribbon to make sure to validate the model before you analyze it. And once the analysis is complete, go ahead and view the return loss and the game plot. So in summary, we demonstrated how to set up a flow K port for an infinite array simulation using the coupled boundary condition. In practice, 
practice, when designing an antenna array, the single unit radiating element is initially designed and simulated, then an infinite array analysis is simulated to complete and to compare the simulation results with a finite array. And in our next video, we'll compare the flow K port analysis with that of a radiation box analysis. Thank you for watching this video and go to ansys.com forward slash courses to watch our videos on different HFSS port types or any of the ANSYS innovation courses designed to deepen your understanding of applications such as 5G or to reinforce your understanding of the physics.